Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful week. And I know the weather's been a little cold, uh, but I pray that you'll stay healthy and well. I'm so glad you're able to join us for worship this morning. We learned that God created the whole world by word of his power. And last week, we learned that the best thing God made were Adam and Eve, the people. Today, we're going to hear about a sad story. I know you won't be excited to hear about that story, but it is a very important story that we all need to know. Are you ready to learn more about God this morning? Let's get ready for worship as we start with the countdown. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our head, and let's pray. Dear God, you are so good, and you are so wonderful. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us, and for bringing us together to worship you. We thank you for making us special so that we can praise you and talk to you in prayers. Help us to be excited to sing praises to you and give us listening ears and understanding to learn more about you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we need to be quiet and listen with our ears. Today's story comes from the Bible. 
The Bible is God's true word. Today's story comes from the book of Genesis, chapter three. Adam and Eve were happy. They took care of the Garden of Eden. They ate fruit like apples, oranges, and bananas from the trees God had made. They were best friends with God. God told Adam and Eve. They could eat the fruit from every tree in the garden, except one tree. God said, "Don't eat from that one tree. If you eat from that tree, you will die." Now Satan, the devil, hated God. Satan came to Eve in a snake's body. Satan lied to Eve. Satan said, "Eat the fruit. You will be like God. You won't die. You will be smart. You will know lots of things. The fruit looked good and smelled good too. Eve did want to be smart and know about everything, good and bad things. So." She took the fruit and she ate it, and she gave some fruit to Adam, and he ate it. Oh no! Something was wrong. They did know things. Most of all, they knew that they did not obey God. They were afraid of God because they disobeyed God. They had eaten the fruit God told them not to eat, so Adam and Eve hid from God behind trees. God came looking for Adam and Eve and called out, "Where are you, Adam and Eve? What have you done? Did you eat the fruit from the tree I told you not to eat?" Adam came out and said, "Yes, but..." Eve gave me the fruit you told us not to eat, and Eve said, "Yes, but the snake tricked me." Did Adam and Eve do what God told them to do? No. Did Adam and Eve obey God? No, they disobeyed God. They sinned. They did what God told them not to do. Can you say sin? Sin. Sin is saying no to God. Sin is not doing what God tells you to do. God said, "Because you disobeyed me, you can no longer live in the garden." Because Adam and Eve disobeyed, God made them leave their beautiful garden. Now. They would have to work hard to get food, but God promised to send His Son Jesus someday to save Adam and Eve from their sins and to get rid of Satan forever. Let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our head, and let's pray together. Dear God, we heard a sad story today. We learned that Adam and Eve sinned and had to leave the beautiful garden. 
but we also learned about the good news that you promised Adam and Eve to send your son Jesus to save them from their sin. Thank you for keeping your promise to send Jesus to save Adam and Eve and to save us from our sin. Thank you for loving us before we were even born. Help us to know you and love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When Adam and Eve sinned and tried to hide from God, God knew exactly where they were. God sees us and knows where we are, and He knows what we do all the time. God knows everything. special creation. God loved His people so much that He had a special plan to send His Son Jesus to save His people from sin. Next is one, two, this is true. First, we're gonna start with Teacher Billy, and we're all gonna to point to Teacher Billy. And when Teacher Grace and Teacher Young points at you, you say your name. If you have brother or sister, you could also point on your brother or sister and say their name too. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves Teacher Billy. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves. Today we have new memory verse. It's from Book of Psalm 53, verse 3. Psalm 53, 3. It says, There's no one who does good, not even one. Okay, let's try that. Psalm 53, 3. There's no one who does good, not even one. Let's try that one more time. Psalm 53, 3. There's no one who does good, not even one. This verse is very important because it reminds us that we're all sinners. And because we're all sinners, we need someone to save us from our sin. And that is Jesus. God sent Jesus to save us from our sin because God loves us so much. Let's try that one more time. Psalm 53, 3. There's no one who does good, not even one. Today, we're going to add question number three to our list. 
And the question is, why did God make you in all things? And the answer to that is for His own glory. Okay, so let's try that again. Why did God make you in all things? For His own glory. Now let's review number one and two and then um, add number three to it. Okay, so who made you? God. Who made you? God. Number two, what else did God make? God made all things. What else did God make? God made all things. And today's number three, new one. Why did God make you and all things? For His own glory. There's a song that goes over all three questions, so we're going to sing that. Are you ready? Now, let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's sing the Lord's Prayer. Today we heard a sad story of Adam and Eve disobeying God. They sinned against God and they had to leave the beautiful garden. But our God is good. He promised to send his son Jesus someday to save Adam and Eve from their sin. 
Isn't our God so wonderful? I pray that you continue to learn more about our good God throughout the week until we see each other again next week. I miss you all so much and I hope we could see each other again soon. Bye.